So one of the, one of the really important things for training teams, particularly managing preterm babies, is that you, uh, you need to get the team in one place and you need to be able to recreate a realistic environment for them because one of the, the challenges of managing very small babies is being able to coordinate your team to do lots of different tasks at the same time. So whilst you can tell people what you need to do, you can give them a lecture, you can explain things, there's nothing like actually doing it and learning by experience. Now, clearly you can't just do that on, on a newborn, very delicate preterm baby. So being able to use simulation training with a realistic mannequin that's about the right size, that feels right when you, when you pick them up, that has a, an airway that works like a, a, a real 25 week gestation baby um, is really important because then you can recreate a, a realistic scenario using all the equipment that a team would normally be using with people that would actually be working together and then you can get them to practice the various manoeuvres and the organisational skills that they need to be able to do that effectively. And the advantage of using uh, a, a mannequin that's designed for this is that it's now the right size. We're not pretending with a much larger mannequin that this is a premature baby. We're using something that will really feel realistic and because of that teams will, will behave as they will do in real life. And then as someone who's perhaps instructing that scenario, you can bring out the things that they're doing well and you can also bring out and debriefing things which they might want to do differently and enhance their, their sort of clinical skills and the way they manage babies. And we see knock-on effects in terms of, of how well babies are managed and how smooth it is when, when they're stabilised on low ward and brought to the neonatal unit. So it really does make a big difference. So attending a preterm birth is a very stressful event for staff and it's something that happens relatively commonly for teams working on a neonatal intensive care unit. It's really important for staff to be able to practice those skills and the skills of, of managing a baby at birth so that when they do it for real things happen very smoothly. This is where um, having premature an is, is really useful. It takes simulation to the next level. Previously we used to have to use larger mannequins and sort of pretend the baby was a bit smaller, but we know that preterm babies have a different anatomy, they behave very differently, they look very different, and all of those features make a team behave in a very different way. So it's really useful to be able to have a realistic preterm mannequin so that the team can practice the skills they use um, in organising their team, in managing a baby in the first few minutes of life, in the simulation we've just run, the baby wasn't breathing well and needed assistance with its breathing, and the team were inserting a tracheal tube and managing the human factors surrounding that, right the way through to managing a baby on the neonatal intensive care unit. And, and we've, we've found that sort of training to be very effective by training teams that work together in the same environment and teaching them in the environment they normally work, you can really improve the quality of care you give to babies.